I just happened to see the news, saw the picture of Gordon Taylor behind um, Glenn Mulcair's uh, ha having pleaded guilty to um, an offence of hacking into Gordon Taylor's phone, but it was only the royal correspondent um, uh, that had been charged from the news of the world. He'd also pleaded guilty, and what had to be done was linking, as far as I was concerned, it was, you know, it was a light bulb moment, it was a eureka moment. They said, well, that's how they got that story, because the story just wasn't true. That was, if the story would have had a modicum of truth, you know, uh, something like that would have made sense, but there was no truth in the story at all. And it was actually, it was quite a sad story, because Joanne Armstrong's father had died, and she'd left a message for Gordon Taylor, saying, because Gordon had spoken at the funeral, and because her father had died, she hadn't been comfortable enough to, to speak to him. She was naturally very upset on the day, and the following day she left a message for him saying, thank you for yesterday, you were wonderful. The tabloid journalist who knew of that message added two and two and made 84. They, they, they couldn't possibly conceive of any other explanation. If it wouldn't have been so sad, it would have been funny. <laughs>